there is no God, then all is permitted. Somebody's murdered Fyodor Pavlovich. Dmitri has been arrested Pavlovich. The murder. And he's questioned at length by investigators for like an entire so five chapters. Right after Dmitri comes to Prohotin to buy back his guns with a lot of cash and covered in blood, Prohotin is a little freaked out. So this guy, for Houghton, goes and plays billiards with some pals, and he brings out that he saw Dimitri, and Dimitri suddenly had all this cash. And all the guys are like, oh, he probably killed his father. They really do. They're immediately like, yeah, he totally probably took it from his father and probably, like, murdered him or something. And of course, for him, Fyodor Pavlovich had an envelope of exactly 3,000 rubles in his room that went missing the night of his murder. Finally, Dmitri admits to having taken 3,000 rubles from Katya. Publicly, he admits this. He admits it to the... Publicly, he admits this. He admits it to the, 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 the lawyers and police. But then he also admits that he only spent... 50 1500 of the 3000 meaning he had 1500 rubles on him the, the entire time I walk a night like a vandal, light up a stage and watch a chunk like a candle. Katya. He was not willing to give up the money he stole from her in the first place. Or give it back. It's really insane, but the reasoning is basically that he put all his hopes on using that 1500 to run away with Grushinka to the point where the 1500 was no longer just a sum of money, but it represented the hope of starting over. Start starting over. Dimitri suddenly having a wad of cash on him, being covered in blood the night his father's murdered, looks bad. Add the months of Dimitri publicly making vague allusions to killing his father on several occasions. The fact that the last time they interacted, Dimitri physically assaulted Fyodor Pavlovich. Oh, and he was definitely at the house that night, and for good measure, he did almost murder Fyodor Pavlovich's most loyal servant, Grigori. So yeah. It's not looking good for Dimitri. Dmitri is questioned by the police. He's taken into custody. Alyosha meets a friend of Ilusha's. Then Ilusha dies. And then Dmitri is on trial. Yvonne starts to go mad. He's visited by the devil. They have some philosophical conversations. And then Yvonne has an existential crisis that dooms him once and for all. The final stages of Yvonne's madness start with three meetings with Smerdyakov, who is in the hospital, laid up after his faked seizure, which was followed by an extremely intense real one. After toying with Ivan for a bit, Smerdyakov finally admits the truth that he killed Fyodor Pavlovich, and that he did so because of Ivan. He did it for Ivan. He says, There is no God, then all is permitted. The creepiest part of all of this is that Smerdyakov actually killed Fyodor Pavlovich and framed Dmitri, also that Ivan would have some kind of claim on an inheritance from Fyodor Pavlovich, an inheritance that Ivan would never want. He did it all for Ivan. As the second oldest of the brothers, Smerdyakov makes the argument that Fyodor Pavlovich being unmarried and Dmitri being guilty of his murder, Ivan would be the one who would gain all of the land and money that Fyodor 
Andrei Pavlovich would leave behind. Smerdyakov has the envelope of the 3,000 rubles. Knowing that the 3,000 being missing would make Dmitri look even more guilty, he took it, but not to spend, not because he cared for the money. Smerdyakov killed Fyodor Pavlovich for two reasons. Like I said, to give Ivan everything that he believed Ivan deserved, and also to give Ivan everything he believed Ivan deserved. The reason he toys with Ivan is because he knows that he's won. In his twisted way, Smerdyakov loves Ivan. He looks up to him. Smerdyakov believed himself to be clever. But when he met Ivan, he finally felt like he'd met somebody who might give him a run for his money. There's no doubt to me that this character who is completely devoid of human emotion saw in Ivan a weakness and that no matter how deep he buried it, Ivan actually loved his family. Ivan cares for humanity and does not want people to suffer. He does not want bad things to happen. So for all of his cynicism, for all of his realism, Ivan is actually a bit of an idealist. For Smerdyakov, that's a weakness. He is a sociopath, and he truly believes in nothing. Knowing full well that committing this murder, and then telling Ivan that it was his words that inspired him, it was his words that gave him the justification, no Smerdyakov understood, or hoped, that this would break Ivan, and it did. Why does Smerdyakov kill himself? After he tells Ivan the truth, he spells it out for him. Ivan says that he's going to take the stand, and he's going to tell everybody. Whether it is supposed to be simply that Smerdyakov thought he was caught, or thought that he would go down, or thought that he would be found guilty um, himself. I, it's not, I, I don't know if that what, was, what, if that's the way we're meant to read it, if that's the way that Dostoevsky meant it to be read, but it isn't the interesting way to read it. My initial instinct in reading Smerdyakov's suicide was the idea that perhaps this character was so empty and so dead inside that he simply had no reason to continue living. A character who is devoid of humanity, I think in Dostoevsky's view, might kill himself simply because he has no reason not to. He pulled off the plan that he had been trying to pull off for so long, and he pulled I, it off artfully. What more was there to do? He won, and so it was time to go. I don't believe for one second we're meant to think that Smerdyakov was afraid or felt any remorse. Those are not things the character ever feels, ever shows. He's a bit of an empty man. But after Smerdyakov kills himself, Ivan sinks into utter madness. So perhaps that was the reason that Smerdyakov did it. This is the nail in the coffin. Ivan does try to take the stand. But it just becomes an incoherent rambling of a madman. He tries to say that he is guilty. It was he who killed his father, not Dmitri. Of course, everybody knows that isn't true because Ivan was in Moscow when Fyodor Pavlovich was murdered. But at this point, Ivan has become completely convinced that he, in fact, is responsible. Dmitri is found guilty. Alyosha attends Ilusha's funeral. And the corpse doesn't smell. Yeah.